This video describes how to add an employee to QQ Catalyst. From anywhere within QQ Catalyst, you can click on New Contact from the dock. Set the contact type to Employees and set their current status. Select the designated location for this employee and enter their first and last name. Once you click Next, the employee will be saved in Contacts. Now that you have entered the guided workflow, you may begin entering phone numbers and email addresses for the employee. Enter as many phone numbers and email addresses as you need. Navigation in the guided workflow is simple and intuitive. You can move around by clicking on the guided workflow tabs. You can click on the next tab to go forward in the workflow and previous to go back in the workflow. Use the Guided Workflow tabs to go directly to the specific section that you need. Clicking on the double arrows will show more sections if there are sections that are not visible on the screen. Clicking on the Page Numbers section will move you back or forward one screen. While you are working, if you need to go to a different part of QQ Catalyst, you can always stack where you are and come back later. When you get to the Addresses screen, enter all the information and make sure to select the proper address type. You can add as many addresses as you need. Note that there is an Employee Info and Employment Info screen. Enter the necessary information in both of these screens for the employee. In the Social Media screen, you can enter the Facebook ID of the employee. To get the Facebook ID, access the employee's profile on Facebook and copy and paste the URL or ID. After you finish creating this employee contact, as you will notice later on in the video, you will see the employee's Facebook profile picture. You can enter their other social media addresses as well. In the System tab, select whether guided workflows will be on or off for this employee. Guided workflows help your employees through the process of entering new information into QQ Catalyst and are especially useful for new users at your agency. If set to on, guided workflows will be used when entering a contact or creating a policy. If you choose to allow the employee to enter contacts and policies without guided workflows, this setting can be set to off. Instead of seeing the guided workflows, they will enter new contacts and policies directly without guidance. The user can change this setting from the Guided Workflows on Off widget on the dashboard. The user language setting can be set to either English or Espanol. When switching from one language to the other, all system menus, labels, and prompts will change to the selected language. Policy commissions refer to producer commissions. The commissions you set up here are the commissions that may be earned by this employee. Click on the Add Commission link to set up specific rules that will automatically be applied to policies that meet the criteria. You can drill down your commissions to specific locations, MGAs, lines of business, and terms. Create as many different rules as you need. The locations, carriers, and MGAs that can be selected are based on those that were set up in other parts of QQ Catalyst. If you don't require specific producer commissions to be set up, select the option for any to create a generic rule that will ensure commission is automatically calculated on the policy. If you do not set up a commission, no commissions will be applied automatically and you will need to manually add your producer commission on the policy. Note that there are two types of producer commissions. The agency commission means that the producer is getting his commission based upon the overall agency commission and the premium plus fees commission type means that the producer commission is based upon what the premium and fees were for that policy. Choose either the dollar amount or percentage of premium the producer will receive for new and or renewal business. 
Save the commission rule before moving on. You can add more for specific cases. You can also set up producers to receive commissions on agency fees. If the fee you want to set up is not in the list, contact the agency administrator to add it. Select the location, the fee name, and the amount or the percentage of the agency fee. When you are done, click Save. In the user profile, create a login for this employee. The login credentials are the employee's email address plus a password. The password must be at least six characters long, include an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, and a number. The password strength will indicate how strong the password is. You will need to set up the access level for each employee. A super administrator can access everything in the system and has rights to change anything for your agency's locations. A local administrator has the same rights as a super admin but only for a specified location or locations. User access level provides the lowest level of access and is the one to select for most users. Location access defines what locations this employee can access. You can set up multiple locations for each employee. Set the default location to the one that the employee will use the most. There are many permissions tabs and you can get very specific about permissions for each employee. We will not go into detail about each one of these in this video, but let's take a look at one of them. In the Permissions Contact tab, you can give users permissions to view, edit, create, and delete for most items. View allows users to see the item within QQ Catalyst, edit to change the item, create to make a new item, and delete to get rid of that item. If a user is not given the permission to view, he will not be able to edit or create. In other words, some permissions are dependent upon others. In the Employees sections, All Employees means that you are giving this employee the permission to view, edit, create, and or delete contact information for all employees. Employee Only gives the employee the permission to view and or edit their own contact information. You may only wish to give this employee the permission to view their own commissions, but not the right to edit it. On the Permissions Policies tab, there are similar permissions to set up for producer commissions. When you have entered everything for this employee, click Finish. You will see the Active Employee Overview screen. You can click through and see the employee info, the user preferences, the commissions and permissions set up for this employee. Notice the employee's Facebook photo. You can also edit the information on this screen. In the User Preferences screen, you can enter a signature for the employee. Signatures entered on an employee will only be available to them and no other users. And finally, you can even add a note in the activity section. Here is what you have just seen in this video. How to add an employee and their contact information using the guided workflow. How to add social media links. How to turn the guided workflow on and off for adding contacts and policies. How to set the system language to either English or Espanol. How to define the commissions the employee may earn. How to create user login credentials. How to set up the locations employees have access to as well as their permissions in QQ Catalyst and how to stack. Additional selections can be added to the following field. Agency fees. 
Please contact your agency administrator to add selections to this field.